Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to have a look at the prehistoric world of the dinosaur by Dr. David Norman. And I've read a few of his books on his channel. And look at his artwork. It's, it's bloody amazing. And we've got a few different stages here. I think it's Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. So no copyright attended. All artwork belonged to their owners. And I did pick this up for three bucks at Savers. And well, it was sold somewhere else prior to that for four, four bucks. So it's three dollars well spent. So excuse me while I try and get this into the frame. It's quite large, so I kind of have to reach out a bit awkwardly when I turn the pages. So, obviously, um, you know, the book's going to be um, out of date with scientific discoveries and all that kind of stuff. But we're just going to appreciate the book for what it is and for the time it did come out. And I don't have the date. I know it's, I think it's 19, late 80s or early 90s. Yeah, 1989. So we've got a, instead of the, the artist is the name. Um, I'll write it anyway in the, in the description. Dinosaurs and the environment. So we're getting a lot of fossils and so forth. So I'll skip over this stuff. And some of the, some of this artwork's actually in some of his other books that I reviewed. The format's similar as well. This book you get a good mix of artwork and also fossils. There we go. We got the Brachiosaurus. Yeah, the other book was from my childhood, the big book of dinosaurs. So that same the artwork is different. But some of the pictures of the fossils and so forth, or the skeletons were the same. And we've got a yeah, Camptosaurus and I think Stegosaurus and Ceratosaurus there. And like always, please comment if you. read this book or you borrowed it and get a bit of history on some of the paleontologists and we got a really out of proportion iguanodon there that's huge arms on that iguanodon tail dragging <laughs> not the best iguanodon I've seen Baker's Dionychus there, 1969. Well, like we get so many different species in this book. Sylophosis. Okay. 
not even halfway through yet. there Pretosaurus Get rid of the Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of content. So, it's a great book. Really, really good book. You just, you don't get this much detail in, in some of the books that we get today. I've got the Allosaurus. That, that's not Allosaurus. Tungulungosaurus and Yang. Yang Chang Yunosaurus, it's that Chinese Allosaur. I always butcher the names. Got some more Jurassic Giants here. So a lot of content on each period by being at work or you know, exhibits in museums, fossils, drawings of their skeletons. Really good stuff. This is something that you may have Borrowed from a library. Carnotosaurus, you know, this is some of the early 1989, like, yeah. I didn't know about Carnotos Carnotosaurus until like summer in the 90s. So, this is probably one of the earlier books that actually has this discovery appear. So, Really good to go back in time, looking back at these older books and Bionics as well, and seeing when some of the more modern dinosaurs appear because there's like a lot of books from the 70s and pre 1980s, I guess, they don't have those species in there. So, yeah, it's if you follow the channel and you've seen I've covered books from all different periods, more vintage obviously, but it's good to go back and look at you know, how things were back then and the evidence that we had. That's the split of source there, that's a pretty cool pose. I wonder if these, some of these exhibit like, please comment if you've been to any of these museums because they they look like they're mainly from around Europe and mostly North America. Are these um, displays still present? You know, have they? I would believe some would still be around, but I would believe some of them would have been removed and probably updated. So I hope they've kept some of these um, you know, displays because it's it's good to go back as well and appreciate how it was back in the day like keep like a, at least keep some the main ones like like that one of Dinoceros Dinoceros or Therizinosaurus 
But anyway, that's before they knew what the creature actually looked like. I remember in some of the earlier books, I wonder if that is still displayed, displayed like that. I'll only know, I guess, if I ever travel overseas and have a look for myself. I just love that, that, that old school upright dragging the tail stance like my Chinosaurs. That actually looks like John Sibbick's, you know, the Tyrannosaurus, the group, you got the few of the Tyrannosaurus, Albertosaurus, I think the Spurtosaurus, or the Tabosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it's kind of like the same kind of pose with the meat and stuff. I don't know which one came first, because it is two similar pieces of artwork. That's pretty cool. This one looks a bit funny, <laughs> the leg. <laughs> looks like T-Rex is about to roll his ankle. <laughs> That's Tabosaurus. What the hell happened to his head? Looks like he's got a lot of callus going on there. Really bony skin. Like the artwork is not, it's like it's not the greatest, you know, in my opinion, but I, I still enjoy it. It's still beautiful artwork. It's big, it's, it's big artwork, which is nice, you know, and in color. I definitely would have loved it as a kid, but. The other book, Big, Bo Big Book of Dinosaurs, has much better work. I've got a bison there. Let's um, talk about extinction here. Right. Got a few more pages coming up. to the end and that's it so quite a lovely book and here it shows which dinosaurs were on the front cover I won't pronounce it I'll just show everybody there so I'm not sure who the artist is who may have even been Dr. Norman himself. I'll write it down anyway in the description. So, a really nice book. It's, it's more like an um, encyclopedia kind of style. A lot of content in there. So, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you all next time.